Today was a mixed bag of things going wrong and things going right. I want to talk to you about equipment malfunction, which is not that big a deal, but it is somewhat frustrating. Talk to you about my experiences, what it's like trying to deal with dealerships, get parts when you need it, and then also the outstanding customer service I received from not one, but two different companies. Those stories coming up right now. A lot of you know I do weed control and fertilization for a living and I ride this. Uh, this is a little bit older model ground lodge. I say old, I mean it might be three or four years old, I don't know. But these same machines are now branded under different names. A lot of them will have a uh, Ferris right here. But this is the old ground logic model. And one of the issues I've had multiple times is there's there's a metal plate that covers right here but as you look under here this is the impeller that turns around and throws the fertilizer but there's this i believe it's called a coupling and it has a couple of hex head bolts that tighten it up to grab this shaft which spins the impeller when you press the throttle okay well I have already ordered one replacement coupling on this machine. I've had another ground lodge. I had the same issue with it, I believe. And then today, I'm putting out the lime, and guess what? My impeller's not spinning like it should. So I take the cover off, actually did it yesterday, and then tightened it up best I could. Did it again today. Problem is, these little uh, hex head uh, bolts are hard to get tight. I mean, I'm cranking on them with an Allen wrench best I can and I stripped the head out on one of them or it was already stripped out so I was unable to get it as tight as possible. Things like that are frustrating. I had to go to my backup plan. What am I gonna do? I've got all these yards on the schedule day. It's not urgent, I don't have to do them, but I really was planning to get a lot of yards done. So what I did, I adapted, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the small yards. When I get the machine fixed, I'll come back and do the big yards later. So I ended up having to knock out a lot of yards with this little chest mounted spreader here that I use a lot and do a lot of small yards, which was no big deal. But what am I gonna do about a machine? Cause I've got, you know, yards to do next week and the week after that and the week after that and I'm trying to get done. And so what do I do about this? And this is where the outstanding customer service came in. I'm a part of one Facebook group that's called Ride On Spreader Sprayers. Okay, somebody invited me to be part of the group. Not that big of a group, but I put post on there, I post a picture of it. And I asked basically if somebody else had that problem and a couple of people responded were very helpful and said yes there's actually a new updated piece that is made it seems like i was not the only one having that issue okay so they've actually addressed the problem on the newer models of the machine and you can buy a kit which comes with the new shaft the new coupling everything and it's supposed to be a better design and fixes the issue i said okay that's great that's what i need to know what's the solution and for a temporary solution, I'm just basically trying to find a, a bolt that doesn't have a stripped out head so that I can replace that. So at that point, I began searching on my phone on Google and looking to see if I can find this kit, this supposed kit that is going to replace this whole area right here. This is, coupling is just sort of a poor design. It's not working out great. And they've came up with a better solution, which I can appreciate that. I'm not bashing them. I actually like this machine. So it's just a bad design on this one little part. And they've realize that and they got a new part out to fix it machine now is branded under ferris so i started looking for ferris dealers i called the nearest ferris dealer to me and i've been in there before and and i'll just be honest they're they're not great and i've uh was not a whole lot of help just to be honest with you i call another ferris dealer that comes up they, they say we're not a ferris dealer and we've been asking them to remove our name for seven years and we're we still get calls for ferris parts i said okay i'm sorry finally i called briggs and stratton which is the the parent company i believe over ferris and they give me the part number so this is helpful now i've got the actual part number i still don't know exactly what i'm buying best description i have is what this guy told me in this facebook group that it's going to come with multiple parts it's going to fix the whole problem so i've got the part number for this now i can call a dealer and get the part number so i call a third ferris dealer and they say yes we can order the part for you end up being like 250 something dollars literally while i have the guy on the phone i'm able to find the same part online for like $169 plus it had been tax and shipping and all that so but I'd already uh, gave him my credit card number he'd already charged it and all that so no big deal I'm supporting the local dealership I just uh, should have looked a little harder online I guess all right so where does that leave me well it leaves me with a machine that's still not working right with a part that might come in in a week or so and it's a little ways away I'm at the uh, probably find it and then maybe have somebody installed it. I have a, a mechanic guy that knows how to work on these things. Um, so I'm like, 
I really want this thing to be working tomorrow, not a week from now. And so I began thinking, how can I get this little screw or bolt or whatever you're gonna call it that goes through there with a hex head. I stopped by this place that's local that seems like they would have that kind of thing. And they've got the door locked and it says, basically it's only wholesale now. They used to be open to public, they're not anymore. Well, the door's locked, the guy sees me out there, he comes open the door, very helpful, very kind. He said, I tell you what, come on in here, let's see what we got. He, find, he said, I think I saw a, a little bolt like that laying around. He finds it, gives it to me. He said, ah, it's probably a little too long, but you're welcome to it. But anyway, I said, well, where can I find some? He's, he's like, just go to one of the big box stores and you can probably take the bolt you got and do, use the little fitting tool they have and figure out what size it is. So I take it to one of the big box stores and it's a number eight dash 32 or what I don't know exactly what all that means. I know it has to do with like thread count and size and all that. It's half inch. I find it, come out, got the Allen wrench in the truck, and I put the bolt on there, crank it tight as I can with the Allen wrench, and guess what? It's working now, working like a champ. But wait, there's more. When I started searching for parts online for a ground logic, I find the company that I originally ordered the replacement coupling for. I'd ordered that part. It was, it was expensive, but parts are. It was like $121 for that little bitty silver part, and it came with the screw and all that. Uh, but anyway, it's, not, it's still not working right. Again, I didn't realize it's a bad design. They've already come up with a better design. But you call, and they say, please email us for fastest service. So I email them. I tell them the situation. I say, listen, it, it's not working. I ordered a coupling from you about six months ago. It's not working. It wasn't their fault. I wasn't asking for a refund or anything. I was just seeing if they knew uh, what a solution was. Well, by this point, I had already ordered the whole replacement kit for $250-something from the dealership. But he does email back and ask me another question uh, if I just ordered the, sh the coupling or if the coupling and the shaft. I said, I just ordered the coupling. He says, give me your address. I'll send you the new design. So I don't know if he was going to send me. I mean, say like he's going to send you something for free, but I'm not sure he was going to send me the whole thing that I ordered, the 250 something dollars, which that would be crazy. The fact that he was going to send me anything for free was incredible in my opinion. So I, I tell you, I just feel like I had two unbelievable customer service interactions today. One, the guy that's basically not open to public lets me come in the store and just genuinely trying to help me. And then somebody I bought a part online from six months ago. And, and listen, I'm okay with supporting the local dealers. There's just not a lot of local dealers that carry parts for these things, just to be honest with you. But anyway, the guy ordered a coupling from six months ago, wants to send me a, another one with the shaft or whatever, some replace. I don't know what he was gonna send me. The fact that he was gonna send me anything was just unbelievable. I'd sent him email back by the time I'd heard from him, I'd already ordered the other replacement parts. So I let him know that. But I guess if the replacement part doesn't work, then I'll reach back out to him and see what he's got to send me because uh, honestly, the part I ordered, I hope is the right part that the guy in the Facebook group. So I had multiple people help me. Facebook person, the person that was wholesale only, let me in, and then this person online. Two customer service and then an industry peer in a Facebook group. Lawn biz can be tough. Equipment's gonna break. I had a backup plan. It wasn't a great backup plan, but I was able to still get a productive day in. I quit about two o'clock or something. Had already done maybe 21 yards. And then go get the, the little uh, screw at the big box store, the bolt, whatever you wanna call it, and put it on. It's working. I think I'm gonna be good to go for the rest of the week. And I've got it tightened up best I can. I, I think it will probably happen again, but should have this replacement kit coming in next week. Let me know what you think. How do you guys deal with it? What kind of replacement parts do you keep on hand? Sometimes you don't know what parts you need until you find out that, hey, that part breaks a lot. Shout out to the Spreader Sprayer Facebook group. If you wanna join those guys, invite them. I'm not sure if it's public, private, whatever. Um, but they let me in, maybe they'll let you in. <laughs> also, if you wanna get into weed control and fertilization, I'm actually hosting a live training day, November 29th near Birmingham, Alabama. The link is in the description if you wanna register that. Or if you've already bought the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy from LawnCareLife.com, then you can come to this live training event for free. Or you can go buy the Weed Control Fertilization Academy. And again, you can come for free. It's included with the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. This is gonna be hands-on for a smaller group, people that wanna get started in weed control and they're coming to get serious about it. And we're gonna be hands-on letting you uh, handle the equipment, showing you how to spray, showing you how to mix chemicals, right, calibration, lots of good stuff involved with that. I'm Jason Creel, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.